Hello viewers. Today I will talk about the plotting of multiple bar chart. So as you can see on the screen, we have this data in which these are three batches of mathematics 19 BSM 20 BSM and 21 BSM. These are the divisions first division second division and third division the first row for 19 bsm says there are five students who received first division similarly eight students got second division and 12 students got third division so there are total 25 students in the batch of 19 bsm similarly 25 in 20 and 25 students in 21 page so you can see this information we are given so let's see how we can plot a multiple bar chart for this type of information in spss so i switch to spss this is the variable view of the software spss in which you can see in the very first row i have written batch so this is going to be of numeric type this is the important thing value so now we have three batches 19 bsm has been assigned a value 1 20 bsm has been assigned a value 2 and similarly 21 bsm batch has been assigned a value 3 in the second row you can see the division so as i did the coding a very uh, small coding for the batch here the same sort of coding has been performed for division so you can see the value 1 has been assigned for the first division and likewise now switching to the data view we can see here that batch 1 that stands for actually 19 bsm there are 25 students and then you can see that there are five students who who got the first division so i have written here 111 for the five students for the batch of 19 bsm and there are total 25 students so you can see all ones up to the 25th row and these are the corresponding divisions you can see by clicking on this button which will show you the value levels so here we can see that all the values are now visible so going back now you have this two here which which says that now you are talking about the 20 bsm batch so i have coded these things now in order to plot in order to plot the multiple bar diagram just you need to go to the tape graphs and go to legacy dialog click on bar click on cluster just click on the button define and now you can see that we have i have already moved here let me move it to the left first and now you can see that we have these two variables defined on the left hand side taking the first variable batches and moving it to the category axis similarly take the second variable and move it to the space where define clusters by is mentioned that's it that's all you need to do just hit the enter key and then you are going to have this multiple bar chart where you can now easily interpret these bars you can see that we have 19 bsm here and there are five students who got first division there are eight students who got second division and similarly there are about 12 students 12 students who got third division and the same can be confirmed from this data for 21 bsm for example there are 18 students for first division two for second and five for third division let me confirm it from the bar also bar multiple bar diagram you can see here the longest the tallest bar is the number of students 18 students who got first division and now you can interpret for the rest of the bars as well so this is a very simple method in order to plot a multiple bar chart in spss thank you so much for watching